You okay there, Ian? Yeah, I'll be fine. Welcome to Tinker Taylor. <laughs> Tinker Taylor Rhythm Fry. Yeah, Ian, Tinker Taylor Ian cries. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's oh program. You know, this is Rhythm Cafe. And boy, you know, don't ever come to the cafe when you've already had a full meal. And probably another full meal, and probably another full meal, and drinks. And then just decide you want to lie on the couch for five minutes before the show starts. Got, you got your money's worth today, huh? Yeah, uh, for those not in the know, there was a uh, there's a festival in Victoria today called Brewery and the Beast. Brewery and the Beast, where they bring in uh, a bunch of restaurants from all around the region. And uh, they have high quality uh, wares, usually all containing meat of lamb or beef or all kinds of meat. Lots for of free. meat and alcohol. Yeah, so free. It's, I thought well, you had to pay for tickets. Oh yeah, you had to pay to get in. And then okay. it's just like, there's no tickets to like bundle up. You just like oh, okay. stand in so line. it's not like uh, the, the Taste of Edmonton thing. It's, yeah. it's more like just a, you pay to get in and then yeah. whatever. It's like Taste of Edmonton, but the food is all good. And <laughs> there is no tickets to pay for them individually. And also the same for cider or beer of uh, Philips or wine or kombucha this year. Hmm. Or cold brew coffee, and also they had, uh, what's that thing called? Gelato. Yeah, I, I finished off with a tomahawk steak that I should not have because that was too much for me. Check my Twitter account if you want pictures of what got eaten. Uh, but we're playing, uh, we're playing rhythm games today here because that's what we're doing, and I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have noticed the corn on the screen here. Or the, like, the hot dog or the squid. Right, we, we're not showing this to you right now. This is just for us. Corn squid. We've decided to try Rhythm Cafe in a new direction. Mm -hmm. We're gonna keep it on boost mode the entire time. You don't get to see the game, but you can hear the game and watch us flail around. It's your job to, to, to decide how well we've done based on our reactions. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now that our House of Lies is over, I'm gonna put this in the corner. Uh, yes. I feel like we'd get into trouble with somebody if we didn't show the game. Apparently nobody except Heather gets to put me in a corner. Uh, Gonna put that on the t-shirt. Yeah, corn over there. Look at it bounce. Bouncing corn. Next to the dog and dumbbell. I mean, taiko drums are generally played at festivals, aren't they? Correct. So yeah. the imagery makes sense. Oh yeah, all the imagery here is... Yes. Just... The fish serving fish. Absolutely <laughs> normal. Yep. I've seen that a number of times. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just go to a booth and like, hey, oh, you right. fish, uh, get out. So your favorite character up in the corner there, the uh, drum uh -huh. with the legs and the... Uh -huh. and the um, I saw in the Discord somebody show a picture of somebody cosplaying that. That it was yeah. from very far away. Like it was clearly a picture of someone took that they couldn't get taken of, and and I saw people going, "Oh man, I hope that person's wearing underwear or whatever." I think they were wearing skin-colored legs or cross <laughs> their legs. <laughs> no, from the, what the, I could tell. The power move is to do that costume by just shaving your legs all the way up to the. Uh... The, the, connect, the trunk connection point, I guess you call it. Mm -hmm. What I would find hard about that costume is that the face goes up, so if you wanted to have eye holes where you're supposed to be, you'd have to bend over as a drum person. Well, and not only that, but your arms are going to be stuck in this position for, like, yeah. ever. Well, I mean, you, you, you could bring them down, and then that would just also be super weird. You can't get out of that costume without being weird. Not help. Not without help. Uh, the best costume I saw at... Uh, at uh, Packs this past uh, August, though. It was a couple's cosplay. Oh! A Popoko and Pee Pee Me mm. from. And it was great because they both had the perfect body shape for them as well in real life. Oh. It was just, oh, you two are, are, are perfect little angels that will flip the bird at any occasion. Cool. Let's play some drum games, Heather. Yes, let's do. <sighs> you know what? I gotta say, rhythm games are a tonic because I think you're in control this time. Or no, you have to push the L and the R at the same time, uh, like the game tells you. Taiko mod! Futaride! I, I'm, I'm feeling immediately better than I was 30 seconds ago by starting up Taiko no Tatsujin. Yes, the power of rhythm games will make you feel better. This is what I found true to be every single time. So glad about that. Okay. We're all good. Press A to begin. I'm in. 
my controllers are figuring their lives out. Okay, there's one of you. Come on. Come on. And... Don't make me believe in you. <laughs> I'm ready. I'll press A. Yep. Yeah! Because! Okay, who are we gonna be today? Hmm. We haven't unlocked any other characters yet. You have to play the party games for that. Yeah, I mean, and we're we'll, gonna. We'll probably do yeah. that eventually, but that's not why we're here. We'll do that. Uh, so you're from Orange, right? Uh, Yoko. Yomo Gimaru. Uh. I can see the, the Switch has not been updated in some time because it is updating all the data. Uh, Squid. Kirby. Uh, sure. I, I could be curry curry. Okay, I'll take a s I'll take a squid for fun. Okay. I'll try playing with dog wada. Okay, so we played this last. It's yeah. interesting that it dumps this, us. This was not where we were though. Yeah. Like that was the last one we played, but we were in a different section. Right. We were We were just up like, here. let's start let's end with something. We definitely did Chala. We did this, didn't we? I don't think we did. Oh no, wait. Our high scores are different because we haven't... Oh no! Do we remember? Yeah, because we've done... Yes, we did all these. Yeah, because we've got crowns on. Oh my. On that. There we go. So if you go... There's no crown there. Okay. And so yeah, we did there, that yeah. one. So that's where we were. Yep. Sounds good to me. We're normal. Well, nobody wants to wave around motion controls on hard. Me. I may not be waving around motion controls at all. Let's be honest. I'm gonna find out in this song. That, that's fair. I don't want. I don't want you to like hurt yourself after eating too much meat. because it lets you dis discover exactly how much meat is too much meat. is how the squid dances. Yeah. You have the uh, the drum roll supports uh, drum, don't you? I think so. Yeah, I was, I was like, huh, usually I get a lot more in the drum rolls than Heather does. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you, you seem to get like just more speed or something than I, I can than I can seem to muster. It's, it's more of just like a locking my muscles and then shaking them. Yeah, that doesn't seem like fun to me. No, it's... Oops. I mean, you do you, but I ain't doing that. <laughs> hey, this is the Toho song I know. Th th Apparently this is the Toho song that everybody knows. Well, this and Marisa stole the precious thing, which starts with the Ian San, Ian San, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's mm -hmm. san Oh, f the hell of it. I'll do one more motion control. <laughs> Use the drumstick's grip. Play without rhythm. I mean, skill.
sad squid. Tired squid. <sighs> Yeah, drums for this game are coming, uh, whether or not we get the drums. Yeah, I don't actually know. To be decided? I... well, I mean... I will probably... I could see myself personally getting a drum. Oh. Uh, I didn't want to import one. Ah. Uh. So, mine was like, I will import the game because the game might not come out over here. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But I don't want to spend the extra money importing a drum. Fair. Although I had considered importing uh, uh, the colored controllers, but I didn't see them actually being a thing, so I don't oh. know if that was a real thing or a mock-up hmm. that I saw, because I did see people showing off uh, the drum colors. What color were they? Uh, the color of the drums. Oh. Like, slightly different blue. I was going to say, because... Uh, as far as I know... The, these controllers are blue and red. They look somewhat different. I'll um, see if I can find some okay. It was it was a picture that showed up when they were talking about the game coming out. So I don't know if it was a mock-up or an actual announcement. Weird song, Heather. Yes, it is. Is an incredibly weird song. <gasps> well played. We careered it with the normal career. Oh, I right? see what like, you mean. Yeah, like they, they're different. Well, more, yeah, they sort of. They got like different colored buttons. They're a little lighter, and they've got the uh, the stick colored covers for the uh, yeah the edges. So I considered doing doing that, but I couldn't find them, so I don't know if those actually even came out. Are you ready of course, these are all like Pinterest links, so I'm not putting those in the chat. Oh Lord, no. Oh, Bumblebee. Ah, the classical music section. I'm way, I'm way too invested. This is... This is standard Taiko no Tatsujin. This is a lovely world that we're inhabiting here, full of drums and... And oni and, onis and, and conductor outfits. Shrine things, sticks.
I'm, I'm, oh, sorry. Guest, as in, as in guest account on Yes. There. I was like, what do you mean I'm a Rhythm Cafe guest? I'm always here. Yeah, you're an owner. <laughs> Bye, full combo! Nice. Look at that squid playing the flowers. It squids amongst the flowers. <laughs> Just where they belong. Not quite fair if I'm buttoning though, because it is very easy to accidentally hit a uh, the wrong button. Yeah, with the the drum controls. I've I've found it's very easy to do an accidental bong when you do need to do, want to do it tuck. Oh yeah, I do not disagree with that. Drum rolls, though, much easier to do with the motion. Yeah. There's going to be some different songs in the PS4 version. And we'll be exploring that eventually as well. Oh, yes. That one, we're just going to wait until it actually comes out here. Because that'll give us enough space. That's you, like November. You know, I wonder, Heather, if because the PS4 has motion controls too, and supports up to four controllers, if it will also have <laughs> drumming support just... Okay, if, if it does, we absolutely have to do it. Because the idea of waving two PS4 controllers around sounds hilarious. <laughs> And I want to do it at least once. Absolutely. Personally, I find it no weirder than, than waving two of these around, but... <laughs> Unfortunately, when I hear this music, all I can think about is classical Lloyd now. What? And I'm not sure if that's good or bad in some ways. Oh, that classic Lloyd. Not making one of the characters literally Christopher Lloyd was a mistake in their part there. <laughs> it does also get the award for best uh, shoe bill in an anime though. It was a good shoe bill.
Kaden. Uh, Geki, are you? Yes, we have been watching Review Starlight, and I've been watching Planet With. You can hear our opinions on those in the next episode of uh, Anime. Anime. Yeah, those will likely come up in that, from, I, what, I've, from what I've heard. Definitely going to be talking a lot about those. Um, is there a shoe bill in Kimono Friends? I don't think there is, but I also haven't watched Kimono Friends, so... Yeah, I, I haven't seen... Yes, there is one. Is there? Yeah, I have not watched it either, but I do know that there is a shoe bill girl. Mm. She's, at best, third best shoe bill in anime. Can we, can, on the next day of any, can you do a Shoeville ranking? <laughs> can we just have a section where you rank Shoeville girls for some I'd be, reason? Well, no, that, see, that's my criteria there, is that the problem with the Komodo Friends one is that she's a Shoeville girl. Oh, okay. It's the girl okay, wearing like a Shoeville costume. Shoe yeah, okay. She's supposed to represent a real Shoeville. Still, I want, I want us to do that segment. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll hella rank Shoebills. Don't tell the shoe bill. They're very violent bird. Okay, Heather. Mm -hmm. I have a very important question now. Okay. In your own personal ranking, shoe bill or secretary bird? Did I have an example of Secretary Bird? Uh, the Secretary Bird from... Uh, Agretsuko. They have very nice eyes. Or very nice eyelashes, rather. Secretary Bird. Mmm. Where, but there's a series where. Right! It's, uh. Polar Bear Cafe. Yeah, that would make sense. That's where the shoe bill editor comes from. That may be best shoe bill in the anime, but I'll wait for the, uh. the ranking to reveal all of them. is right. Okay. Secretary Bird's uh, dance like a snake is trying to bite their legs. Now we're into the video game music. Good. You know, I haven't played Super Mario Brothers uh, New Dog City. As far as I'm concerned, this is the second best song. The first best ver being the Japanese version of the same song? Uh, no, there's a song uh, near the end of the game I like much better. Oh, okay. I always hit A thinking that's going to be the, uh, the dawn button first. When you get to the section of the game where the song plays, it's a really good section, too. Hmm. Oh! Inveteray says there might not have been a Japanese version of this song.
Okay. So that was the first time I've heard that. Mm -hmm. I've heard good things about the song. It's a good song. You know what makes me want more than anything right now? What? A Mario Lupin crossover. Mm -hmm. That is having Lupin hanging out with Mario, having Peach hang out with Fujiko, and Fujiko being a, a <laughs> huge influence on Peach. Oh yeah, no, you gotta take care of yourself. Also, any of that coins that Mario got, you gotta get them. Yeah, I, I'd like to see that crossover. <laughs> That'd be good. How, um... I don't actually know. How much Mario... Are, are you even a Mario fan? I, 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 how can you not be a Mario fan? I'm just curious, because, like, I know... I know yeah. I know Beej's background of Nintendo is oh, very we, much there, but I'm like, I don't do... I keep played up on... a number of games. Were you into those? I, I keep up on my Mario canon. I, I enjoyed Sunshine. I really enjoyed 64. Galaxies were great. Yeah, I haven't finished any of them. Okay, no, that's fair. I, I, when, when Odyssey came out, mm -hmm. I was just like, oh, good, another Mario game, because I was really bored with the formula, mm -hmm. and then, and then I grabbed it for New Day Tuesday, and I played it, and I was like, I'm taking this game home, and I'm playing it forever now. Really? Okay. I really liked Mario 64. Mm. This was better. Okay, good. That and I was very what. excited for it. And, and they do a lot of really good stuff with it, especially if you've played previous stuff. There's lots of little Easter egg mm -hmm. type things in the game. Because Mario 64 was, in my mind, one of the best games. Not just Mario games, just games, period. Mm -hmm. I mean, the 64 was where I jumped back into video games. <laughs> like, on my own, because that was about the age when I could start purchase- I had more purchasing power. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of the 64 games have a higher ranking in my brain. <laughs> Hearing this music just makes me realize that Sega is kind of sitting on a franchise goldmine by not doing anything with uh, Jet Strip Radio right now. Game. <laughs> that would be fun. They have four idol characters. Yeah. They can do it by now. <laughs> you blew it up. Okay, so we've done the Kirby medley. Ready but... for Pac-Man Championship Edition 2? Sure! Because we, we, we are big on our Pac-Man lore. Oh, Cuttlefish Man, there is Space Channel 5 coming for VR for the PlayStation yeah. 4, though. In, it's it's only been announced for Japan, right? I think they... Or have they announced that outside of... All I know is it's coming to the PS4, which means that at that point, 
it's basically just a hop, step, and a jump away to the PC release. That's true. We don't we don't have a PS4 VR no. setup, do we? Well, Loading Ready Run doesn't have any VR setup. That's true. But we also don't have access to one, right? Like, nobody we know? No, not a, not a PlayStation VR. Just off a Yaku combo for you. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh Gekyoryu, I think we played the Sentai and uh and Kamen Rider stuff last episode. Ah, and Derek right there, yes, with the uh information. The new dancing persona dancing games for some reason have PSVR support, and I don't even know what that looks like. No, because it sounds like why. So I think we're gonna have to definitely go back and research our uh, our, our storylines from the previous Dancing mm. All Night games mm. because clearly that story needs to continue. Yeah, even if they don't include one, we clearly have to put one in there. Yep. Happy Family, the Nekotomo theme song. Are they happy? i 
So I'm a very. I have a question. Yes. About this song. When we get back to the ratings. Okay. Because I have found that in this song, specifically this song. Nice combo. The star ratings are weird. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's find out. So. Huh. Yeah. Right? But do you want to play that game again on hard or extreme? Absolutely. Because they're different. I effed up. They're. They're. I've, I've played that one on normal, mm -hmm. and I've, I think I've played it on hard. And even though the star ratings are the same, the song's patterns are actually different. And I don't understand why. I keep pushing the wrong buttons. There we go. Join. Eh. Two players. Okay. Hi. Come on. Hi. No. I like, I like that the drums aren't just palette swapped. I'm going back to Don Chan. I'm sticking with Curry. Mostly because I like the name. Curry is a very good name. Okay, Nekotomo. Extreme! Extreme co-op session! I'm gonna keep it on motion controls, even though that's gonna be a mistake. <laughs> Never a mistake. What game console has a sideways D-pad and three buttons? have two stars. I no. I guess because they're it's technically not difficult. It's just a lot but, of notes. But does that mean that your star ranking is based upon what thing you're on? Or is it like cause usually when a game's like, oh, okay this song is this many stars and then on this level is this many stars, mm -hmm. it's it's because those parts are harder than the first one. It's a sliding scale. So why are these all two stars? I think it's I think it's just that it's the same difficulty, just there are more notes to hit at the same time. They don't come at you faster, they don't come at you in crazy it's new patterns. It's really weird to me, because yeah. that's the only one I can see it on. It's odd. Uh, Mendiloquence, though, says that they're going on a new trip to, or a trip to Japan on Wednesday, and uh, if it was just one cool thing they should see or do, what would it be, thanks? 
where in Japan are you going? Yeah, that that, that does matter. Japan is a big space. <laughs> yeah, we'll wait till we'll wait, we'll wait to give an answer of the general area that you got planned, and then we'll diverge notes. Oh, I guess that means that we get. Uh... Oh right, we probably get separate notes. Yeah. Oh, cool. I like that. Japan, not as big as Canada. It might not be, but it's still bigger than a lot of people don't typically go to all of it. Tokyo, Kyoto, Osaka, Nara. I have the train pass so I can go like anywhere if I want. Okay. Um. Um. Well, Kyoto had a manga museum that mm -hmm. was really neat where they have like a whole bunch of manga, but they also have like rooms that manga can rent to go mm -hmm. and do stuff in. If I recall, there's in Toyosaka, there, in the Tokyo area, there's a uh, ramen style museum mm -hmm. that's got a replication of, sh of Shoei area of Japan in there. It's it's really quite nifty there. From what I understand, I've never been actually. There's a um, what other place we went to Kyoto. The uh, it's a TV set theme park. TV set thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, yes, yeah. You told me about that. Yeah, it's 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 like where they film all the samurai movies. Yeah, it's like the Toho Park. Or... Well, they have a superhero museum thing in it, but it's it's uh, it's you walk through a city. Yeah, like it's it's actually their film set. Isn't yeah. It? yeah, yeah. Like there's there's giant rocks and stuff you can move around too because they're fake. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the name of it. I mean, Kyoto is like fairly tourist heavy, so if you look up. Kyoto, you'll find a lot of stuff. It's also very English friendly because of that. Uh, like my suggestion is find. Yeah, Graham was was at one of those, specifically the uh, the ramen museum one, I think. Uh, yeah, no, do uh, go to convenience stores. Is my actually number one. Oh thing. yeah, check out that. Yeah, go, go, eat as much as eat a lot about uh, museum. Or eat a lot about museum. <laughs> wow, <laughs> those words didn't make any sense. Eat a lot at convenience stores. They're they're great. Eat a lot everywhere. The food in Japan is just yeah. great everywhere. Uh, and if expensive. you can, grocery stores are actually really good, especially at night when time service is mm -hmm. hit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just like my one of my favorite things to do in Japan when I was there was to like take the uh, Yamanote line to a station, a station mm -hmm. on the line, and then get off and walk between uh, the station you're on and the next string station, and then you get to see all sorts of the stuff that you don't normally get to see because it's not in range of the station. Yeah. I Just, like, check wherever you're going to that you actually can get there by JR Rail, because JR does not actually own all of the rail. Yeah. It's There's a good majority, but there's a lot of interesting so. stuff that also doesn't on the KO lines or the, the yeah. underground. Yeah, we found out that when we got there. Yeah. That said, rail travel in general is re really, really cheap. So mm -hmm. if, if you do have to take a private rail, as long as it's not like a long distance trip, it's worth the cost. I think we're still waiting on your button first? Oh, sorry. That's okay. Get, get, get that Cinderella girl. Mm-hmm. Because you know we love Cinderella girls. Well, we, we played we, we played this game. We, we totally did play it. Girls. I don't know if we got to the song. <laughs> Sounds like they're putting on a stage play.
mean, I think Cinderella Girls is a Bandai property, isn't it? Yep. Ma something's happening with Master now. Odd song. Yep. That was a very it odd song. Kind of like the kind of thing you would hear on um oh those those like tapes and CDs that they do sometimes for characters. Mm -hmm. uh, where it's it's just it's dialogue like like a play kind of thing. Mm -hmm. A drama CD. Mm, yes. Yeah. It kind of reminds yeah, me like of a drama CD. Yeah, not, not, not an actual song, but image songs. That's the... Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I also want to answer uh, Granny So Hale's question about which three beers they should try if they've never tried beer before. I'm not going to recommend three specific names of beers, but I'm going to give you three types. I want you to try a wheat beer or a Weissen beer. That's a, uh, a wheat style. It's generally pretty, uh, pretty light and nice and delicious. Uh, that's, that'll give you an idea of that type of beer, and I find it's good for people who don't like the bitter beers. Mm -hmm. You should definitely also try an IPA, an India Pale Ale. They're very popular with a lot of people, and they're very hoppy, so you get that bitter flavor to them. Um, for your third beer, I'm going to suggest that you try a sour, because that's currently the type of beer that is most... Uh, I want to say the most popular right now in terms of up-and-coming beers mm. and you can generally find some very fruity ones in them some very uh, interesting beers and it's it's a beer that's not like any other kind of beer because it's not bitter it's more like a, a sour juice pop but not hmm. so there's my beer recommendations so i think maybe we should clear out our subs I am, and then take a break i am absolutely 110 percent on the same page as you are let's start with demonic wombat <laughs> Back an hour ago was a brand new subscriber. Welcome, thank you Along for joining. Along with Kickstep, and also new, and welcome to the channel. Gotta thank Psychic Ketchup for 55 months of subscription. Always happy to see more Rhythm Cafe. Best part of my Sundays. And it's your boy David, new subscriber. Welcome. Mnemonic Man has subscribed for two months in a row. G Dwarf with the 53 months in a row. In's not wrong. The two Toho songs I know are Bad Apple and Marisa stole the precious thing. Two untapped mana subscribed for two months in a row. Killer palms for three months. That's Apple in French, isn't it? Yes. Cool. I amethyst for 13 months in a row. Mendiloquence with that thousand bit sub. Thank you. And Granny Sohale with that 200 bits for that question about beer. And Raging Trees is continuing that gift sub from Fishor. Uh, do you remember if you've been gifted a sub, it is September, so you can extend your, your sub for a dollar. Just one dollar gives us all of Jeff Bezos' money, but don't feel pressure in case if that's too much yeah, for you. but that's also on. on any channel that that's going on for, so, you know, do what you will. Correct. We're going on a break, because that's what we're doing. Yep, see you on the other side for more Rhythm Cafe and more Taiko no Tatsujin. Don't go away. Hey, sup, sup. We're playing Taiko no Tatsujin. We're gonna play... We're gonna I play some more. This song. I believe this one is a, is a reference to Toronto Dominion Bank. Oh, that explains the TD. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've been in a TD. They, they, they used to be really uh, happy about their green chair. Mm. They're where I got my first bank account. They were, As a kid. They were one of my first jobs, actually. Oh. I, I worked in telephone banking. That was a mistake. Yeah, that sounds like a mistake. I'm sorry. That's a very different marketing campaign than I've ever heard out of TV. I mean, 
At least they're being honest that they're full of robots now. No! The combo die. I'm finally less than one behind you! <laughs> Did your technology drive to work today, Heather? Yes, I used my bionic legs. <laughs> Techno drive. That note that just like. Yeah, just out of nowhere. <laughs> hey, take a break. No. Ten to twenty minutes every hour. Damn. I mean, if you're doing a lot of heavy arm swinging, it, I kind of think that makes sense. Racing the storm from critical velocity. Critical Velocity is my favorite uh, media that Critical Velocity is in. <laughs> do, do you know what Critical Velocity is? No, as far as I'm concerned, you're just saying a bunch of words that don't make any sense. <laughs> Such a good combo! Oh, that is 
this is my favorite syncopation. That, such a strong combo. 200, like what, 25, 230? 223. 223. Damn. Yeah, no, that one's got a good beat to it. Doom, 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 doom. Assault background music. One. Because you don't want to use the same assault music twice. No, you don't. The enemy will know you're coming. <laughs> Always change your assault music, or you'll lose the element of surprise. Also, maybe don't use music. And if you are gonna bring music, don't bring a couple of Taiko drummers. I think it depends what kind of party you're going to. I mean, if you're assaulting the party in both cases, and you need the element of surprise. Boy, well, drumsticks are really useful for fighting. True. But if they're being used for drumming, they are unavailable for assault. That's fair. Wow, that seemed really bad. That drum assist is really nice. when there's another person. <laughs> Perfect. Favorite a song to check it anytime. You can also filter songs to change in list order. Speed racer. racer. Speed racers knock off brother. <laughs> I, mean, I thought Racer X was Speed Racer to knock off brother. Oh, that's his actual brother, but mystery <laughs> spoilers, I think. I mean, from the 70s? At what point does something enter back into space? Spoiler territory, because it's too old. Uh. I think if they make. Uh. They reboot it, is when it hits into spoiler territory again. Maybe. I don't write those rules. I'd like to. I'd like to write the rules about um, what can constitutes spoiler and... I guess but... I say you could start a new Dear Abby call column in the newspaper for uh, modern politeness. Okay, then I see, realized, yeah, that's... I know you're lying when you say I can start a thing in a newspaper for a modern time. Yeah. I guess. Read something in a newspaper. Oh wait. Horoscopes and that coffee minute thing that they give out in all like the fast food places. Oh, the coffee news? I'd probably do that. I don't think people would like the horoscopes there, right? But I don't think that many people read that either. 
Did I ever tell you that the company I was working for back in Alberta considered advertising for the Coffee News? Really? And I looked into it and, wow, it's expensive to, to advertise in the Coffee News. Really? Yeah, like, to the point where I could buy a regional uh, radio ad that would run three times a day for a week for less than it would cost me to run something in the Coffee News. Like in a single city. Wow. Oh yeah, the coffee news is a racket. Maybe I can buy a radio ad and, and but only give away one person's horoscope. <sighs> I mean, you could. I don't know why I would do this, but it kind of sounds like fun. Her major sin as low as two hundred dollars per ad. I worked at a radio station for a whole day. <laughs> Okay. Writing ads. Wow. I wrote one ad. And then you it was, quit? It, it was an after school job. Oh, okay. It was meant to be like a mentorship program oh, thing. Okay. And um, they, it was an extra class thing. Mm -hmm. And it was a lot of extra work. And and they were like, we want you to like go into jobs or things you want to do. Mm -hmm. But they couldn't really find anything that was like filming, editing related, mm -hmm. so they were like, oh, this radio thing. Yeah, this is the same thing. And it involved a lot of paperwork, and the, I went, when I went to the station, uh, and I did the day thing, I realized immediately that they were very excited to have me there because free labor. Uh. And also that would be incredibly hard to get them to fill out my paperwork. Oh. So I left. That's a shame. And I went and I worked at a photo processing place. Oh. So I learned how to process di uh, uh, photos. That's kind of a shame because that was, that was the best I could get. Getting actual ad writing experience is... That's how you get into ad advertising. Then you can work your way up into the good part of it. It does me no good if I can't get them to fill up my paperwork yeah, for my class exactly. though, because otherwise my hours don't count. There was another reason I also didn't work there, but it's a weird, like, family interpersonal thing. Ah, uh, yeah. So, don't need to get into that. Not giving that one away. But they definitely were very excited about not paying people. And honestly, if I had that option when I was in high school, I might be on a very different career path right now. <laughs> when I was working for the uh, Rupert Land Institute back in Alberta, I used to write all the ads myself. Yeah, I can see that. It's kind of one of those places where if you, if you have the one part of the job to do, you kind of end up having to do the other part. <laughs> yeah. Glad to hear you're, gonna, you're enjoying your, your new job, uh, Sector. Sometimes those weird career changes are can be a good thing. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Wa Ardo Herite Ijo. Jo? Featuring Yako from the Warner Brothers. I'm the Warner sister. Mm. Warner Brothers. That's you know my Animaniacs. There was so many weird things out of that cartoon universe, wasn't there? Animaniacs was a very 
good little series. And it's coming back. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, it's coming back, and I believe that someone we know is working on it too. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. But I don't know if that's public information or not. That's why I'm I not just, saying. I didn't even know it was coming back. Stuff like. Stuff like that show. Like, I can't picture coming back because it just feels like such a specific thing that happened once. Yeah, and it was. And I don't know how you would create something like that. It was so perfect the way it was. It would be like telling me Freakazoid was coming back. I'd be like, I don't know how you would even do that. Also, some of that shouldn't come back. <laughs> because I rewatched some of it, and I'm like, ah, some of this doesn't play super well anymore. Good. So it is public knowledge. Uh, I've completely forgotten. It's uh, Joseph Death is right. Katie Rice from Camp We Don't Want You. Right. Is working on it. Okay. And like, as soon as I heard that, I was like, Oh, good. Yeah. No. This series is in good hands. It will be fine. Uh, any plans to stream the world ends with you, Final Mix? Oh, not for a while. <laughs> I've got I've got two fairly decently long games going on on my home stream right now. Maybe. It's been long enough since I played it on um, uh, Heather's handhelds that I'd, I'd be okay with doing it again. Wow. That game is hard on the DS. The two double screen thing where you have to do like multiple... Oh, and you have to keep an eye on it? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. No, I was just thinking like, about Heather's handhelds. That was a long time ago. Right? Yeah. We're from the same era, Ian. <laughs> I Horner and, and Heather's handhelds well, I know, but started at the same time, ended at the same time. But those days are gone. Now it's all about cafes. I mean, let's be fair, the cafe's been around about as long. Just no one knew it yet. It's, it's true, it's more of a pop-up at that time. Only open on certain days. Usually Tuesdays. Yep. I don't think I did. I think I missed at least one. No. Still. Yeah, I was, I was happy to get a, a good 100 combo. Feels good when you get that, hey, you get 100 combo. Here's 100,000 points. 
Uh, hit people guy. Yes, this did release with Lupin Ranger versus Pat Ranger. Yeah. I need to, I want to watch that. I just, the idea of that sounds great. <laughs> I need to watch, uh, like, a bunch of Sentai. I need to find, like, an extra dimensional pocket of time. I mean, you could do what I started doing with the first season of Se uh, Prince of Tennis, which was watch at uh, 1.25 speed. probably get away with that with Sentai. Like, I regret doing it for Prince of Tennis, but... The thing about Sentai and Kamen Rider is that it's never ending. Yeah, but it's also repetitive, so I feel like you could get away with a little bit of that. Agreed. Like, there's some podcasts I actually do listen to on um, a slightly faster speed because they're very long. Mm -hmm. um, but some of them I can't because people talk too fast already. But it's okay, I don't listen to podcasts with each other anymore. There's some podcasts I just don't actually have the smart speed turned on for because people's voices sound better with the without them being processed. Mm. That's fair. Sometimes too, you like I find depending on what the subject matter is, you actually need the pauses and the yeah. for for processing. Or when you listen to a certain person long enough that you recognize where the pauses should be in their voice. And if you've got a system that takes the pauses out, they sound very weird and wrong. It's like, did you have a stroke? Oh no, no, it's software, okay. That's actually I find, uh... I, I got a whole bunch of people who, who I know want to see all the stuff I cut out of mail time, but it's mostly breathing. <laughs> We should really remind people, yes, the people on Loading Ready Run do breathe. It is though, it's mostly breathing that I take out. Yeah. And but not all of it, because sometimes when I try to take uh take it out, you can hear it, like it sounds really weird, so I put it back in. The majority of people at Loading Ready Run are not wizard people. Pretty sure none of us are. I mean, we're both not wrong. Yeah, that's true. I mean, <laughs> both of us, sorry, both of us could be right. One of us could be wrong. One of both of us could be wrong. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Fairly we don't. Lizards don't have to breathe. No, of course not. They just do to make us feel better. Lizards are very, uh, considerate amphibians. Are they, though? I don't think they're amphibians. Not all of them are. Hmm. Just a semi-aquatic egg-laying mammal of action. <laughs> oh, Perry the Platypus was so good. The song also works great if you say eight-legged mammal of action. I wonder if there's a generation of kids that looks at uh, Phineas and Ferb the same way we think of Animaniacs as just being perfect and unrebootable. Maybe. I mean, they I might am... not be. They might not be old enough yet for that. Yeah. I mean, I, I am that generation, but that show is also not super not uh, aimed at me. 
in my demographic. Now I'm doubting myself. I don't know, but but I don't. Are snakes lizards? Yeah, they're. So there's lizards, and then there's that other type that's like lizards but not lizards. That might be snakes. Oh no! Snakes are lizards. Thank you, Sid, previously headache. I, I'll, I'll. They're reptiles. There we go. That's it. Yes. All lizards are reptiles, not all reptiles are lizards. That's it. Mm. Whew, got there. No. Snakes are not lizards, so both are reptiles. Yeah. yeah it's reptiles and amphibians that I re was getting uh, mixed up. Snakes are ophidians, yes. That I remember from Star Trek Next Generation. That there was the man who had kidnapped... The man who kidnapped Mark Twain had an ophidian in his staff. I think I saw that I episode. It was, was the one where uh, Time Zero Part 1 and 2 where Data's head gets sent back into time and they have to recover his head in the future after it's... Now been, you just sound like you're reading fanfic. It's it's, it's kind really of, weird. It's really kind of a fanfic episode in that respect. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> ah! That was my fault. Mark Twain shows up and is a pain. I mean, that's, yes, all episodes of Next Gen with Mark Twain in them. Eh, we don't really do the hot dog sandwiches, tacos, uh, combo anymore. It's kind of well played out. Yep. Like most of philosophy, there is now a body of work to cover that. I mean, personally, I don't think it matters because I can't eat most of those foods. So I don't care. I think all the easy questions have been argued to death on that one. I'm sure there are still in interesting questions to be asked in the sandwich space, but is food product a sandwich or a hot dog is not yet one of them again. I mean, the thing is, I just don't care. <laughs> I'm not going to categorize my food. I'm either going to eat it or not. And you can't eat most things that are hot dogs or sandwiches. Not in the way I want to, so I don't care. <laughs> Which is to say with your mouth? Well, like a hand food, right? Yeah. Like, I think the fun of eating a burrito is that you get to hold it in your hands, not that you have to cut it up and dissect it and put it in your mouth. Like, there, there are hard questions still to be answered, like soup dumplings. Where does those fall on the spectrum? It's a record skipping. And then this happens for no reason. Oh. Ah, 
Uh, yeah, I did hear that Capcom was re-releasing the Ace Attorney trilogy on its Switch, PS4, and Xbox. And I was like, cool, they're pulling out the trilogy again. Mm-hmm. Like, they, they, it's on everything. Yeah. It's, it's not... So... Capcom, okay, okay, I think Capcom made, 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 made a tweet mm-hmm. uh, because the Tokyo Game Show is going on. Yep. And they were like, oh, if you're an Ace Attorney fan, you're going to want to hear about the news we're going to drop there. Oh, are we? Yeah, that yep. news was, hey, the trilogy we put on every platform, we're putting on all the new platforms, everyone. Which is <sighs> not a bad thing. I like those games. But, you know what would be really exciting? Telling me that the games they haven't translated are coming out in the West. Can, can we get Kathleen Kennedy? to head up Capcom for just a while, because I want to say that the Lucasfilm is also a, a company that has a beloved trilogy and also a second trilogy and expanded works. But unlike Lucasfilm, where they don't realize that only the one trilogy is beloved and everything else needs to go away, Capcom thinks that people only love those three games. Yeah. And that everything else doesn't exist, when in fact they love everything. Well, and so, so uh, I know eventually they got Apollo Justice out onto mm-hmm. other platforms, or like onto the 3DS or whatever, um, on the eShop. Yeah. I don't think they've put investigations out, but I think there's about three Ace Attorney games we, we haven't gotten over here. Straight up haven't gotten. Full out. Yeah. And, and I'm like, oh cool, you're bringing this trilogy. It's not like that's bad, that's neat, it's just... Meh? Yes, we, it's we, not that exciting for we've, me. We, we, we've had that before. We've had it enough times now in a different... And, and it's it's like, oh, okay, cool. I guess I get to hope that you're going to bring out the other games on the eShop eventually. Yeah. Like the last time. Oh my goodness, I'm becoming a Mega Man fan. That's what's going on. These Capcom do this with every single one of their properties. They drag it out over and over again. They're like, hey, you know Woo. what? It'll... Maybe, maybe we'll bring that thing out that you want if you buy the other thing for the tenth time. No. No. Nope. So instead, you're just. However, you've not played the games. The Switch version does look very crisp. So, go for it. It's a good way to get into it. But if you already own it, like I own all the physical copies of that for the DS. I don't need to own it again. They're not adding new material into it even, as far as I know. I think I know this song, by the way. It's a Namco original. It's probably been in every other Namco game we've played. That would make sense. We both lost our combos at about the same time. <laughs> but I'm sad because you were one ahead of me, which meant that you were on track for a full combo. Yeah. Oh well, whatever. That would have been cool. We did get a couple of full combos last time we oh, yeah. did this. But never together. Right, I've definitely heard this other uh, Namco songs.
Yeah, Mega Man Legends 3. That never happened. Uh, that actually looked cool. I wanted to play that game. I didn't know anything about it. Mega Man Legends? Mega Man Legends 3. Oh, okay. It was a game that they well, was in development. They had like a fan contest of a character they were going to put in. They had, a, I believe, a winner. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing the design and being like, oh, that looks cool. And then they scrapped it. <laughs> it was supposed to be a thing where they were going to get a lot of fan input on as well. So the, the fandom of it was very hyped for that game. Mm -hmm. And then they scrapped it. And you know, when you have a, a, highly, a, a game that you're, you're trying to get your fandom hyped for, yeah. and you do, and then you get rid of it. And then you say, yeah, you know what, we don't actually think we want to release that. Yeah. Uh. Oh wow, so that's magic says uh, App Store has Ace Attorney 1 through 6 and Investigations. Yeah. Huh. Like you you can you there is access to these games, which is great. Because hmm. it means you can you can play it if you want to. That was that was probably the hardest part is the DS runs were not large runs. Mm -hmm. And so when a new game came out, you could tell people that you liked the series. But, but no it was hard it. to it was hard to find copies right, of it. Yeah. Now it's on everything, which is cool. Oh. I just would like this other stuff we don't have. Yeah. Also, really liked investigations. Oh. You could walk around in it. <laughs> Edgeworth was a cool character. Cool guy, Edgeworth. Keeps his clothes framed in his office. Oh. <laughs> well, at least the one outfit. Like his own jersey. <laughs> no, he had he had a suit he wore like. It was like his first trial or his first win or yeah. something, and he had it framed. But that's like, like, that's like it Wayne looks exactly like the suit he wears. Framing his own jersey on his wall. Like you can see fans of Edgeworth buying Edgeworth's first suit and framing it. I believe the Japanese version of Investigations One or Two also had a special edition that came with a teacup. Nice. And it was really neat looking, and I was like, yeah, we're never getting that. And we didn't. Because why would we? The Don Duck a Don in the background is throwing me off. Oh shoot. Yeah, uh, you no, heard it now. <laughs> I can hear it. It's not what we're drumming. You're right, it's not. That's mean. Don 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 Duck a Don Don Duck a Don. I started to hear it and then I started to try to sing yep. with it and I was like, wait a minute, no. Bad idea. trying to listen to it from the back, but during the fast part too, and it, that was worse. Yep, it's not good. It's bad. Oh, where's my not? There it is. Where's my not go backwards lever? Where's my come forwards lever? Ah. Oh, aha! There we go. Are you ready for dancing, do do do? As long as there's no more dong dongs in the background. <laughs> I mean, they'll be dancing, do do do. Will it be like that dancing robot from Rhythm Heaven? Probably not. The this little tango bot. This sounds a bit more like. Uh, this doesn't really sound like a tango. Welcome to the ballroom. I don't want to see the four-legged thing happen, though. That 
that was terrifying. Yep. What a good show. Dancing do do do. for no reason. It's like, yeah, I'll just keep hitting these buttons. Hey, you know what? You know what would be fun, Brain? Let's just move our thumb to the other position for no, for no reason. <sighs> Hold on. Congos are for the GameCube. Yeah, they, they will not go into the, well, I mean, not, well, not right now, but with Smash coming out, they're supposed to, there's the, the, the thing, USB adapter? So Which apparently, maybe, but I don't know that it would necessarily, I don't know that it would work. It's worth trying, but I'm yeah. I'm curious. We're not, that yeah. does mean they can bring a Donkey Kong game to the Switch, though. <laughs> and then we can use our old controller. Not that that was ever stopping them from bringing a Donkey Kong game to yeah. the Switch. <laughs> What we're saying, Nintendo, is more Donkey Konga, please. I can't believe I just acted like that was the reason that I was yeah. stopping them from bringing it up, from bringing it up more. How will they connect the Donkey Kongas from three console generations ago to this new console? I just don't know. I guess that means no Donkey Konga for the Switch. Ever. bringing out uh, all those Wii U games that they're working on porting over, right? Right.
Boom, boom. Okay, no more. Good. Whew. Yeah, Canadian Footcrafter, they were U Wii U games like uh, Zelda Skyward Sword. Nobody wants that, from what I understand. Um, but, you know. Oh, Breath should, of the Wild! Uh, Breath of the Wild was a Wii U game? Yeah, yeah, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Tokyo Mirage Sessions, okay? Bring it to the Switch. You cowards. More people need to play that game, and I know that's not a Nintendo game, that, that's a call up for a different company. Do it. Also, I wouldn't mind if they did bring out Skyward Sword on the Switch, because then I think they could take out the motion controls that people didn't like so much. Let's, let's also, you know, while, while we're having this moment, uh, Innis, if you're listening, just, just bring back, just bring back Elite Beat Agents or uh, uh, Owen Don for the Switch. I don't care which, just one of them. Wait, did we do that one? Yep. Yes, we did. Antonio! Heather, are you ready to experience Antonio? You'll melt the more. I didn't think Banderas was in this game. <laughs> Figure your beat out! Antonio? I don't think so. Maybe this is just about Antonio. Maybe. And how he forgot to pay his visa bill. Yeah, I think he forgot to pay his visa bill. Yeah. I swiped my card and they would not take it. They said that I was over the limit. But I'm sure that I didn't go over this month. I called my visa company and they said you didn't pay. That's why we can't give you any more credit this month. Oh no, you didn't pay, Antonio. How will you buy groceries this month? Okay, I heard the words jet in Japanese for forget, and I've stopped listening because yes, this song is about forgetting the visa bill header. <laughs> that or it's about forgetting the beat. This song's very good at that too. Maybe, maybe, maybe forgetting the beat is an analogy for forgetting your visa bills. That's true. Generally, they're supposed to come at the same time, but sometimes they don't, and that'll throw you off. Oh, okay. Have you got one more song here? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go through the uh, rest of the. Huh. That's kind of cool. Do you have any requests? No, not, nothing in particular. Okay, I'm just scrolling through to make sure that we didn't unlock anything else that's new. With the new tomato? Yep. <laughs> I mean, I know it's just a circle, but it kind of looks like a tomato. It makes me think of the Kirby tomatoes. A little, yeah, yeah, that's like the Max tomato, right? Yeah. Hello, my friend. Well, shall we do this one? Sure. It said, hello, my friend. I want to do it on hard. You can do it on hard. My friends. This just sounds like a good time. Bokuwa synth. 
My friends, <laughs> I am a synth. <sighs> Good job, us. Uh, well, that's silly, it. Silly sounding song. I think that's it for our uh, show today, which means we have nothing left to do but to thank some lovely people who subscribed today. Starting with Derek underscore G, who subscribed for 22 months in a row saying, drinking down all the sweet drum fills at the Rhythm Cafe. And Llewellyn Z for continuing that gift sub from Fishore. Yeah, Green Turtle 69 subscribed for 21 months in a row. Thank you for your support. Andy the Drew is back for the fifth month. Welcome back. We've got to thank Granny Sohail for some bits. Thanks for the recommendation. Now let's see what you say to this. <laughs> And, and Oatmeal for that eight month sub. Welcome back. Yeah. That's uh that are our subscriptions today. Thank that you. Is that, yeah. So much on that. Um what do we need to mention here? Ian, so where yes. can people find you on the internet? Tilty House, T-I-L-T-Y-H-O-U-S-E is the name of the game. That's where we do the Twitch. That's where you can find our Twitter to let us know when we're doing our various streams you can find us on youtube and tilty house streams to find our past broadcasts there heather where can people find you you can find me at lunar jade on twitter or on twitch i stream at home i'm doing a 365 day challenge today was day 297 so i'm almost done <laughs> i'm almost done <laughs> the end <laughs> Uh, and of course, you can find us here at LoadingReadyRun.com, twitch.tv slash LoadingReadyRun, where you are on now if you're watching this, unless you're watching this on our YouTube, uh, which we have the main channel at Loading Ready Run, and the channel that this will be on, which will be the VOD, as long as it doesn't get copyright claimed out the wazoo, as Loading Ready Live. Mm -hmm. Check us out at Patreon.com slash LoadingReadyRun to help us out there. We thank everyone who does support us there so far. We really appreciate it. And of course, to all of you lovely folks who throw us your bits and your subs here on Twitch, it all 
really helps. And of course, to you, the viewer, for just being here and letting us spray Japanese drum music at you. It's a lot of fun. There's a splash zone at the Rhythm Cafe. You know, I think we forgot to tell you. Really but is. You should really you rope it off. You probably should know that by now. Yeah. So, have a good day. The we'll cafe is closed. We'll see you next week. <laughs>